Hi there. Here we are again for another episode of Treasure Valley NIA Quick Tips. What it is, is I'm a franchise order of uh, uh, network in action here in the Treasure Valley. It's once a month professional referral groups. I've got three of them. And in doing that, I meet a lot of really great local um, experts in their field. And so I bring them on and share them with the audience. And today's a perfect example. Uh, Pete, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Pete Carden. I am the owner of Idaho Business Lending. Awesome. Hey, I'm I'm fascinated because uh, because I've I've you know I've known you for a while, and I was excited when you told me what you're going to do because you were a banker, and you told me what you're going to do, and I thought it was so cool because I'm so familiar with the difference between you know property and casualty insurance, the different dif difference between captive and non-captive, and so when you explain what you're going to do, I thought that is so awesome. So uh, tell us what. What, what tell us tell us what you tell us real quick give me a little background kind of where you came from and then tell us what you're doing now yeah so thank you scott um i spent 11 years in banking um kind of doing all parts of it everything from opening up somebody's first checking account refinancing houses um a number of years ago i switched over to uh, working on the business side of things um, so I've been lending uh, to businesses for six or seven years. I've kind of lost wow. track at this point and been helping, you know, clients of all, all sizes, startups, um, well-matured companies, um, and just kind of everything in between, helping them, whether they're needing um, financing to start up, they need, um, you know, lines of credit, they're expanding, building something, whatever, whatever that, uh, that need is, we've been able to find um lending for them so i uh after doing this for a lot of years realizing that um i enjoy it but there's better options out there than what you can provide somebody at one institution um i i decided to go out and go uh independent and work with everybody and provide the best um product or service for my clients as opposed to the best I had available. That's great. So uh, uh, you're a, a uh, banking broker, right? Is that the, what, what's the proper term? Um, business loan broker. I look at myself as kind of a free agent banker. Okay. Um, I, I work with clients, you know, just advising them. I help them find money. I kind of do all those things um that you do at a branch level but i'm able to um work with everybody instead of just uh just clients of uh, the institution i'm at so i'm very much kind of a free agent um that's able to just work on behalf of the clients as opposed to on behalf of any particular institution right so how many uh give me an example of like how many different uh, roughly how many different, so if someone comes to you, how many different options do you have when, rather than, rather sure. than one institution, how many, uh, roughly how many do you have? So the audience can kind of understand. I don't, I don't think this number is an exaggeration. I think it's pretty accurate. I have about 60 different lenders that I wow. work with. Um, that said, what I, what I'm able to do pretty quickly is sort out what the need is for the client. So obviously I don't, look at them with 60 different lenders i'm able to boil it down into what box do you fit into let's take a look at these options perfect so um idaho business lending what what services do you have so i'm a what what, what do you offer lending anything else yeah so it's primarily lending um that's you know that's where i've got my start um is just in that lending space but uh i have some expansion that is happening currently i'm gonna start doing some advising um getting working with clients to make them lendable um whether you know i have all kinds of clients coming in and they may have the absolute perfect fit for a loan and everything's great and easy and everybody's happy it may be that they need help uh fixing their cash flow Maybe they need help with their credit. Maybe they need help with um, the idea of their project. Not that their project's necessarily bad, but hey, let's tweak this. Let's see how we can make this a little bit, uh, fitting the appetites of lenders a little bit better. So you can actually get that capital as opposed to 
this is what I want to do and can't yeah. find a way to fund it. So it's kind of, I'm able to do all those things. So I'm working, um, I'm working with clients currently um, that come to me that have cash flow issues, that have credit issues and working with them to um, do some accountability coaching and put them on the right trajectory to get them into a lendable position. Um, so that is um, something else that we're just rolling out. Awesome. I know you, you, when you told me that, I was so excited because uh, you were just getting ready to do it because I've, I've heard of mortgage brokers before. We have them in, in, in the group. They're just rock stars. And I, I've heard them, you know, up to two years work with a family to get them into a house because they just, their credit's not right. They just, you know, they just opened a, a new business. Right. And so mm -hmm. they, they're not, they don't have any, they don't have any history of income. And all these different things that I've heard again and again, uh, you know, some of the mortgage brokers I've heard outside, but inside the group mentioned over and over again, hey, I started with them a year ago to get them into this house. And I thought that then when, so when you mentioned what you said, you were taking what they were doing to, um, you know, consumers and basically for, for business owners, help, helping business owners out, like say, oh, you, you want to do that, you know, you, so you want to do an expansion? Well, right now you can't. <laughs> Right. So how, 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 what does it look like for you to get there? Well, right? and yeah, so it, it, every, every situation is completely different. And, you know, what I like to say, um, especially working on the, on the business side of things is, you know, you have people of all different, all different industries getting into business, doing what they're doing. Um, you have somebody that loves making cakes and makes an amazing cake and they did not get involved in owning a business for paperwork, for understanding the financials. They know how to mix flour and sugar and eggs and right. make great product. That's what they're good at. And that's okay. That's awesome. We have framers or roofers or whatever, and they're in the same boat. They're like, Hey, I like building stuff. I'm particularly really good at this aspect of building stuff. I'm going to start a business doing that. That's great too. That paperwork side of things, nobody's asking for it. So find an advocate, find somebody to help you get there. Um, as far as um, what it takes, it really depends. You know, you have uh, every situation is different. Everybody's, um, everybody's finances are different. Maybe you're looking at somebody, they got credit and it's not very good, or maybe they don't have very much credit, or maybe they don't have very much business credit, or, you know, and so those processes. Um, they can take a while. I, I like to think that you can get yourself in a workable situation typically within six months, but you know, sometimes, Hey, you got to pay some of this stuff off. That can take a while if okay. uh, money's tight or finances or, or I'm sorry, revenue's not coming in or whatever. Um, there's so many variables there, but six months is kind of the, the uh, window that is ideal. It could take a year, it could take a couple of years, depending upon the person and what they're needing to do right. to so you, you said something there that I'm, I'm not very clear on always is, uh, is what's the difference between consumer debt and business debt? You know, you said, you're, you, said that you might have good personal credit, but you don't have good business credit or what's that yeah. mean? I mean, business credit um, most of the time is something that just is credit that uses your EIN as, okay. opposed, to, um, as opposed to your credit, uh, I'm sorry, your uh, social security number. Okay. Sometimes there's some overlap. Many, many business loans have a personal guarantee. Um, I'd say most business loans have a personal guarantee. So the personal, um, the personal credit matters. And right. you know, uh, for a lot of people, um, it is just as important as your business credit. Sometimes, a lot of times it's more important. Right. So let's say somebody comes to you and they say, hey, I don't want to I don't want to touch my personal credit, right? I'm gonna, I want to go on my EN number or my, you know, my, my, I've been in business for 10 years, right? Right. You, you can, you can loan off of that if they have inventory, if they have, I don't know what, what you have, I mean, if they have, yeah, I mean, there's absolutely cash options. flows. That yeah, there's absolutely options for that. Um, depending upon what you're trying to do, uh, there's better options for um, some things than others, but yeah, absolutely. Um, and there's, there's value in that. Um, yeah, there's value in that, in that um, you're not tying um, debts to yourself personally. Yeah, so that, that's what I was thinking. That, yeah, a lot of times when you, depending on how you incorporate, sometimes you're doing that to to you know lower the, your your liability. So I'm thinking, you know, um, same thing with a loan. Is that maybe I don't. Hey, I'm, I'm, I've been in business this long. I don't want to have. I don't want to have 
touch my personal credit. I, I want this to stand on its own. Right. And I mean, most of the time you're still going to end up with the personal guarantee, okay. but you know, the way I look at it is um, your business is an extension of you. And most of us don't run such large organizations that it's, you know, a completely separate entity. It truly okay. is a part of us. Um, so the personal guarantee most of the time is uh, just, it's the option and it's, it's a great option. So. So what, here, here's a question that um, I, I'm sure a lot of people think is, is, hey, I like my bank, right? I like my credit union. Why don't I, I'm just going to walk in there and why do I need to use Pete? Yeah. Um, well, your bank may be fantastic. You may have the best bank in the entire world, but that doesn't mean they're going to be able to help you. It yeah. doesn't mean you're going to actually have the right representative to help you. You can have a perfectly good loan at the right institution go poorly because you have the wrong um, representative in front of you. Um, so, you know, it's a matter of, I guess I look at it this way. Um, everybody, uh, has a different, all, all institutions have different appetites. They all have different specialties. They all have different products. Are you wanting to make sure you have the best thing for you? Or are you wanting to make sure you have the best thing that they have? Um, sometimes those are the same. Sometimes it's so, it doesn't matter at all. Sometimes it's, there's such a little difference between one bank to the next, it's, it's fine. And then there are times where there's uh, some very specific um, products that are going to be able to get um, your business what they need a lot faster, a lot easier, a lot cheaper. And then at the end of the day, do you have the right people representing you? Do you have the right people in front of you that are actually um, have a full comprehension of what you got going on? and being able to get your um, need taken care of from start to finish. Um, and that is something that unfortunately is, uh, it can be a real problem. And, you know, I, I always think about um, when I used to work in a branch and uh, you have the uh, business owners, you know, if they, if they have a lot of cash, um, kind of more retail kind of, clients that are making their daily deposits and, and they know their bankers, their tellers, they know them, they talk to them every day, everybody knows everything about everybody's family, you know, it, it's great, it's awesome. When you're a business though, and it's time to get a business loan, a lot of the time they're gonna say, hey, I can't help you, but you need to go talk to that person. You don't know that person. That may be the right. only option they have and they don't right. have a better option for you, but that's the option and so hope it works out. Yeah. And what I'm able to do is I'm able to have relationships with bankers all over town um, and work with the ones that I trust, the ones that have a proven track record of excellence and utilize them to make sure that um, everything's handled as well as possible. Right, right. No, that, that's great. And I actually know that, that we have a banker in one of our groups and you guys work back and forth on deals and stuff just because um, you know, you need, you, he's a good fit for one, one of your clients. And sometimes he'll, he'll reach out to you because, you know, his bank, he's in a lot of times, his bank just can't, can't do it right now. Right. So mm -hmm. either he, he works it so that, you know, the bank can do it down the road or for something they want to do right now. Uh, he just is one, just kind of like you. He doesn't want to be one of those people to say, you know, oh, sorry, I can't give you the loan. No, we might be able to get a loan. Um, but I do know someone who can get you the loan that's really high caliber. That's really the key. It is. And, you know, speaking to that, there's always, um, there's always a way to say yes. It may not be a yes uh, right now, but there's always a way to get to yes. And um, I have found, and you've probably seen this too, just in, in all aspects, I'm banking, whatever, but um, there's a real tendency to, I can find a no and I'm just going to leave it at no. That's not what's best for right. anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if there's a way to figure out how that yes can be found, let's do that. Yeah, no, that, that's great. So then here, that leads right into the next question. So I, again, you're, the person's thinking, so why, how much is Pete going to charge me if I, yeah. if I use him versus going to a bank yeah. or a credit union? Yeah, absolutely. So or one yeah. institution, whatever that institution is. Right? Yeah. So I'm not free. Uh, <laughs> I'm not free. But um, one of the reasons I um, operate, so I charge my clients um, when I get them funding. I don't charge them until they get money. There's no charges for um, 
for any of the pre-work, any of the recommendations, any of that stuff. We can be all the way down the line on loan, you back out, deal falls apart, change in circumstances, whatever. Right. No cost until you get money in the bank. Um, and the reason I do it that way is um, I am able to advocate for my clients better. Um, basically, so I'll give you, a, I'll give you a, for instance, um, one of the institutions I've worked with, they offered me uh, an opportunity to um, have them pay me for my work. Um, and they were going to pay me on the spreads. So the spread is going to be the difference in um, their costs for the loan and what they're able to charge the customer. So that's, that's our spread. That's where the profitability comes in. So they're going to offer me um, uh, a payment off of spread. And I told them, I said, you know what? I don't want that. I said, why don't we, when we're working with clients, why don't we have you reduce your rate for my clients instead? And so everybody is happier. It's a better deal for everybody. Yeah. And so I'm able to advocate instead of thinking, oh, gee, this interest rate's too low. You guys aren't going to, it's going to save you a bunch of money, but I'm not going to get paid. I don't have that problem. I can work on behalf of the clients a lot better that way. Yeah, I, I love that because, you know, you pay for performance, you know, it's, it's you know, I, I'm, I, I'm looking at this as a dream. I want to get the funding. I've had challenges in the past going to institutions because I'm just not a perfect fit for a lot of them. So Pete, can you, can you help me do it? You know, and you know, you, you, you know, you, you don't get paid till it gets across the line. I yeah. kind of, I think that, 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 I, I just love that. Yeah. And well, and a part of it too, is I, my goal, my personal goal is to have all of my clients walk away um, spending less money utilizing me than they would if they were doing it themselves. Um, because I'm able to get um, discounts on stuff, uh, you know, find better deals. I was working with somebody the other day um, on a loan and I was able to find them a rate that was 2% cheaper than what they were going to find. I don't wow. charge. So, wow. you know, all of a sudden my services are free. Maybe I get a, disc, a break on an origination fee. Maybe yeah. I get a discount on interest rate. Maybe this, maybe that. And ideally, by the time you're done with me, um, you're getting the best option and right. you're paying less than if you just did it yourself. Right. Right. I love that. I love that. Well, Hey, this has been great, Pete. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll, I'll have all your information in the show notes, but if someone wanted to reach out to you, what would be the best, best way to get a hold of you? Yeah. Um, my, uh, my number is a great option, uh, phone or text. And that's uh, 208-470-6673 or Idaho business lending at gmail.com. Um, yeah, those are the best ways to get a hold of me. This is great. Hey, I appreciate it, Pete. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Until the next episode.